The Soldier class is a great support damage class that fits into pretty much any team comp. It is effective against cavalry, and it also has lane nuke. It has supportive skills such as healing, and it's a pretty good generalist that you probably want to run at least a few of in your team. So in this case, I'm using uh, Chloe, who will heal any of these units when damaged. Elaine heals himself. Chloe also heals. Chloe lane nukes. Clive can lane nuke. Uh, so between the two of them, you have two lane nukes, you have two heals between these, and typically this team has pretty high sustained and can fight pretty much anything. Now, there isn't really a weakness of this class outside of when things block the lane nuke, that's really it. So it's another one of these classes that has very few weaknesses, and it's typically just always good. Now, it's a spear and infantry, so any spear weapons you have access to, it can use. So in this case, for the loadouts for Chloe, I just have her on Templar Spear for damage. Uh, she's just still on Chloe's charm. You could throw something else on her if you want, just to XP, you know, just to snowball her XP a little bit. And then she has Golden Egg, which I will show how to get that in a future thing, where that doubles the amount of gold you get. So this is my main combat unit, so she just helps us make money. And she also levels herself up a little bit faster than everyone else. And as you can see here, she is approaching the highest level. Uh, but her initiative is decent. Now, in the case of your average uh, soldier, their initiative is going to be kind of average, kind of like in the middle, depending on their growth types, of course. So Chloe has Guardian and Lucky, which are more like defense oriented and tank oriented, whereas you could have like Go-Getter or something that's more high initiative so that you could actually attack earlier. Now for skills, the first skill is Long Thrust. So you attack a column, it does 50% more potency versus calves, and it can multi-hit, so it can hit a lane. Now if it gets blocked, it will typically just hit the first person who's blocking it and not the person behind, but in most situations it's going to be hitting multiple things, and it's quite good. Uh, she also unlocks, well the soldier class unlocks Javelin at level 10, which is very useful. So plus 50 potency versus flying. So it's kind of like an anti-flying ability, but it also allows you to attack the enemy back line. So if there are enemies in the front line that can block, then they can block like range attacks. They'll typically block this, but if there are just enemies in the front line that do not block like a gladiator or something, you can typically javelin the back liners for free. Uh, same thing with like thieves. Like thieves don't like run to the aid of other units. I think if the thief is in the front of the thing you're attacking, it'll still like take the hit or probably evade it or whatever, but you can still target backliners and flyers with this and it's very useful, especially because this is also a backliner and typically it's hard to target backliners and it's also durable. So unlike Archer, who's very susceptible to getting hit once, this thing actually has some bulk. Uh, first aid, this activates at the end of battle, heal 25%. This is really useful, especially if you set it to heal lowest. So you're just constantly healing the lowest and resetting them a little bit. Uh, Keen Call, this is something I didn't get because you have to hit level 15 and typically you run out of demo time. Uh, I'm running this from the demo, obviously. 100% uh, crit rate before a dude attacks. That's pretty huge. So really good utility damage uh, units. It has healing, it has utility, it can target specific things. It kind of just like fills a lot of different roles that a team wants. And for the Valor skill, you have Life Aid. Revive all incapacitated combatants and an allied unit to one HP. It's also cheap. So if you have an entire unit where most of them are dead, you can set all their HP back to one, then use some heals and get them back online or put them in a fort or whatever. So pretty decent, pretty good support. Uh, overall, I do like running this. This is like my favorite team comp in the early game. As far as I can tell, this is like one of the best things. I set first aid to lowest because sometimes she'll just heal whoever's, I think it defaults to less than 100%, so she'll just be healing people who barely need it. So you want it to usually be on lowest, and you can adjust it as needed. And for long thrust, you can adjust this as needed from lowest to column or whatever, whatever you need it to be. Uh, now you can run the unwavering spear on her, and she can get true thrust. Now, I would say this is better off on Clive or someone else, but you can run this on her and she can use it pretty well. True Thrust is also a lane nuke that hits thieves, so if you want to have like super utility on your Chloe or on a soldier in general, you can throw the Unwavering Spear on them, and once they hit level 10, they can Javelin Backliners, they can True Thrust like thieves and griffins, and pretty much like fill in some weaknesses for your team, which is huge. Uh, but what else? Let me just double check my notes. 
First aid, can call. Yeah, I think it went over everything. Yeah, they also have few weaknesses. They can be okay in the fronts, but they really should be in the back with something defending them. Otherwise, they're just vulnerable to damage. They don't have the best durability, so they're probably going to get nuked down. And you might have noticed this every time you fight soldiers that are in the front line, you just kill them easily. <laughs> so they typically want to be defended, but they're really good against calves and they fill in a lot for a team. And they're great with pretty much anything. Anything that's taking damage, they heal, a lane nuke, and so on. Like even just with these two skills, she's hugely useful. And the Templar Spear is great because then it makes it so that her long thrust has a pretty decent chance of killing like low HP targets or enemies that have already been damaged. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this friend that's useful, and I'll see you next one. Peace.